know, the big thing with that question is that that's a really hard one to answer without seeing the horse because I can't tell, I can't tell what the horse and rider are doing. But some, some for instances would be that if uh, that, to me that horse, is, that rider is telling me I'm collecting my horse. So they're probably collecting it a lot. And um, they're probably a little bit, um, not a super advanced rider something um, from beginner to intermediate in there somewhere. And a lot of times the people that ride at that level and really worry about collection, rather than having the hind quarters come to the, to the head, they get the head down with the hind quarters, the back's a little flat and the hind quarters are out behind a little. So what they do is transpose most of the weight to the front feet. So then they have that horse's head down there on the ground and all the weight hitting on the front shoulders and those front feet and that'll, that'll often cause a lot of tripping versus um, sitting up there and getting that horse drove up under himself from behind. To me that's the, the big thing in true collection is having your horse come up from behind. Um, then maybe there's a, a good possibility that maybe the toes of that horse are too long. Maybe they're dropping their heels a little too much and they're shoeing, letting the toes run out there too far and they need to bring those toes back. Um, that's, that will help some, but for the most part, if one's stumbling that much, there's something. He's in a position that he shouldn't be in or he's just naturally clumsy. They probably wouldn't be asking that question if he had always stumbled. So I'm, I feel like from that question, there's a strong possibility that they're putting that horse in a position to trip.